Today we meet a French rugby player turned winemaker with a passion for the Italian varieties and the kids miraculously turn into mini master chefs at dinner time. G'day Mudgy. Like most Australians, I love my food and wine. So it made sense for Mudgy to be first stop on our Aussie road trip. Just over three hours from Sydney and we were nestled in nature, ready to take our taste buds on a tour de monde. And I met just the bloke to guide us. So I would guess from the name Jean-Francois yep. and from the accent that you weren't born in Mudgy. No, mate. I, um, I usually say the joke that I'm from Townsville, but no one believes me. <laughs> um, I'm from Bordeaux in southwest France. So, born in Bordeaux, now living in Mudgy. I get the impression you love this place and it's Mudgy forever for Jean-Francois. Yeah, uh, Maggi, Maggi is an amazing place. The wine community is amazing. Uh, I've got extremely good friends here. Uh, there's a bit of a foodie scene around. Um, cheese, um, chuck tree, prosciutto, things like that. At olives, it's beautiful. I'm, I'm a happy man there. And my wife makes bread, so can't keep a Frenchman happy if there's no bread. Why don't think. we go and try some of that bread and cheese and Let's prosciutto right now? Let's do it. <laughs> so yeah, that's the Kajigong River just here. Um, that's a little summer retreat. When it's very hot in the vineyard, we come here to have a little picnic and drink some champagne and cool down a little bit. Superb. And here we've got our picnic lineup, so you guys like take a, a seat, please. Yeah. Let's yes. sit down, let's eat. I'm going to go forage. Uh, anyone would like to come with me? All right, guys, let's go. First stop into the road trip, and already we were surrounding ourselves in the beauty of the Aussie bush. Now, the kids did not want to get their feet wet, but it didn't matter. We had the services of a gorgeous Gallic Loch Ness monster named Jean-Francois. Okay, we've got everything, guys. Ooh. So we can start making lunch. Fresh baguette, magisado, and some watercress freshly picked for garnish. That's grassland chicken uh, smoked in uh, local cherry wood. So you, you can have a little smell of that. It's pretty, pretty good. Oh, oh I can smell it from here. Right. Relaxing by the Kajigong River, enjoying homegrown food and wine with our new bon ami, Jean-Francois, it was magical. Something we definitely don't get to do in the city. He also gave me a French perspective on what it means to be Australian. The Australians are very supportive of each other and, uh, and that's something that's very heartwarming. When in time of need, and we've seen it in the past few years between the droughts and bushfires and all of that, the, the Aussie spirits of turning around and say, let's support my countrymen. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful thing. That I don't think I noticed that anywhere else, really. So I'd stumbled onto two of my great loves here in Mudgee, homegrown food and Australian red wine. Ah, if only there was a chance to play a game of chess. You're kidding me. Ellie, you're up. <laughs> Baby, still got it. From lockdowns to homeschooling, we've seen more of each other this year than any year I can remember. But I think this road trip's gonna remind us just how important quality time is. As the sun sets on our first day on the road, I'm drawn to the irony of how we can't get the kids to help cook at home. But on holiday, they turn into mini Maggie beers and Luke Mangans. The beauty of our road trip is embracing spontaneity. We've made friends for life with a fine Frenchman, Jean-Francois. We've sat by a river we never knew existed. We're creating memories together on this trip that we'll talk about for years to come. And that's what it's all about. Next stop, the World Game. Some talented 10 year olds show me I'm living in the past and I talk the FIFA Women's World Cup with a legendary voice of Australian sport. I love an Aussie road trip. If you're loving the Aussie spirit that we've encountered on this road trip, well, it doesn't get much better than Australia's best talent uniting for the annual Australia Day broadcast. Catch it on your ABC, 26 January, 7.30 p.m.